Hey, it's time for Last Night in a Loco on WHHI, powered by LocoSports.com. We had a quiet night Thursday before the storm picks up tonight and Saturday with round two of the South Carolina High School League basketball playoffs, as well as the opening round of the Skeezer State Tournament, and there are some marquee matchups on tap. Bluffton's girls will put their 19-game winning streak on the line in the den with a second-round Class 4A matchup against North Myrtle Beach. The Bobcats are shorthanded with post player Maddie Washington lost to injury, but they're hoping fellow seniors Takoya Hayward and Jelena Mosley and freshman sensation Amira Brown can continue to carry the load and extend the season. The Hampton County boys will hold court tonight in Estill with a Class 2A Round 2 matchup against Mullins, the team that bounced away at Hampton High School from the playoffs a year ago. The Red Devils did the same to the auctioneers the year prior, so even though the jersey and mascot have changed on Hampton's end, there will be no love lost in Estill tonight. Hampton's girls also advanced and traveled to King Street on Saturday, while the boys from Whale Branch and Bridges Prep hit the road in round two, hoping to move one step closer to a rematch in the Class 1A Lower State Final. The Skiza girls get going tonight at neutral sites with Hilton Head Prep, Buford Academy, Thomas Hayward, and Cross Schools in action, and the boys tip off Saturday with the fellows from John Paul II, BA, Thomas Hayward, and Cross hoping to survive in advance. We'll get you caught up on all the action on a live episode of the Loco Hoops Report at 10 p.m. tonight, or you can catch it on demand anytime on the Loco Media Network on YouTube. For Loco Sports and WHHI, I'm Justin Jarrett. Until next time, go Loco!